Hey guys, Rollout or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another division video. And in this one, we're going to talk about something called classified gear or classified gear sets. Now, I will warn you, this isn't for the veteran players, the ones that have been playing this game since day one, like myself, and have played through every update so far. This is mainly aimed at the players that maybe dropped out around 1.3 and have come back for 1.8 without really knowing what's been happening in the division. So, unless you're a new player, or a returning player, then you'll probably know everything that I'm going to say in this video. I just thought I'd give you a heads up before I waste your time, that's all. So, let's get straight into it. Classified gear, what is it and how do you get it? So classified gear was introduced within update 1.7. In short, classified gear is better versions of the current gear sets within the game, and they also have a higher stat range on them. That stat range being 1,274 all the way up to 1,401. As well as having higher stats, they also have a 5 and 6 piece bonus once you have 5 or 6 pieces of the same classified gear set. Now, if you've been playing for the last couple of weeks, then you might have seen these drop. But this is the reason I wanted to make the video, is because they are slightly difficult to distinguish between a normal gear set and a classified gear set. And this is where a lot of the new players or returning players might get confused. As you can see, if you compare them both, they are both still green and they both still have the same logos. However, the only slight difference is the fact that's a small little folder icon to the right of the gear piece when it's in one of its loot pillars. Now, I'm not going to lie, some of you probably will laugh at this, but there's been many times where I've not bothered checking one of the green loot pillars and then a couple of minutes later, I've probably gone, well, that might have been the classified gear piece I was after. But by that point, there's no turning back. So the message I'm trying to get across here is it's always worth checking what loot is on the ground. I know there's a lot of you that already do this, but there's probably a fair few of you that don't. So in short, classified gear has higher stat rolls on it, as well as two extra gear set bonuses if you have five or six of the same classified gear. But now, how do you go about getting these? Well, classified gear is introduced to the game via global events. These global events roughly run once every month to six weeks, and there's only three to four that are introduced with these global events. The global events do run for a week once they are active. And once that global event has ended, the classified gear that was introduced with the global event will then be added to the general loot pool. The aim is that every current gear set will receive its classified version through global events. So the next two global events that are coming up, and actually global event three that will be taking place hopefully next week, will include the following gear sets. So like I said, next week global event three, or as it's known as Strike, will include Path of the Nomad, Defense, Predator's Mark, and Banshee's Shadow gear sets. For global event four, or as its name is Ambush, we're going to get Alpha Bridge, Firecrest, Hunter's Faith, and Tactician's Authority. Now, I have a global events video on my channel that details what global events are and how they work. I'm going to leave a link in the description for that so you can go and check it out if you just want to know a little bit more about global events, but I'm not going to include it in this video because I don't want to drag it on and make it longer than it already should be. So drop rates and where to get classified gear once the global event has ended. So I'm actually getting the information on drop rates from the Division subreddit and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description so make sure you go and check it out. So let's start with caches. They're included in all caches where you can currently find exotics. This has a 1% drop rate. Resistance caches, these can be bought and obtained by completing the resistance game mode within 1.8. Manhunt caches, as well as I believe the bounty hunt caches for either completing a manhunt or by wiping out manhunts. All named bosses across all areas of the game, so the open world, the underground, the dark zone, resistance, these all have a chance to drop classified items, a 3% drop rate. They can drop from named HVT bosses, and like I already said, underground, so hunters, named NPCs, and special loot crates within the underground. In the dark zone, as well as the named bosses in there, also from contamination events, and the chests that you use a dark zone key to open, and finally, PvP rank. When you level past rank 40, last stand and skirmish rank, you will be rewarded with classified caches for level 45, 50, 55, etc. So guys, I think that about covers it for classified gear. If you feel like I've missed anything or you have any further questions, then don't be afraid to ask them in the comments section below. I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. 
But guys, like I said, I think that's about it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then let me know by either clicking that like button or by leaving a comment. And as always, if you're new around here and want to stay up to date with The Division, then please make sure to subscribe. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.